Hello to my channel Chinese Star Today we will bring you the following hot and exciting news. Wang Yibo's speech was again controversial. Is it an abstract expression or a real illiterate? The host laughed awkwardly. Wang Yibo was criticized by CCTV for his unclear speech and lack of cultural literacy. In the interview behind the scenes of the Golden Rooster Award nomination, he performed poorly. He misread and forgot words many times in his early years and was accused of being a desperate illiterate. Wang Yibo went to South Korea to pursue his dream in the second year of junior high school. His education level remained in high school. He called on celebrities to improve their cultural literacy. It was not until I saw Wang Yibo's unclear speech again during the interview that I understood why CCTV chose him to criticize him by name. What fans call abstraction will never become a cover-up for real illiteracy. The host's on-site performance this time truly revealed the reason behind Mango TV's eagerness to return goods. Recently, the controversy over the Golden Rooster Award has attracted widespread attention. Lee Jiangxi, a young player born in the 2000s, defeated Molly and won the Golden Eagle Award, but was questioned by many netizens, who believed that there were improper means behind it. However, Wang Yibo stuck to his personality at the scene looking simple-minded. In the Best Actor category of the Golden Rooster Awards, Wang Yibo was nominated for HOT. Although he did not win the title of Best Actor in the end, it is a great honor to be nominated. Therefore, backstage, the host specifically mentioned this incident in an interview with the crew, hoping that Wang Yibo could express some opinions on it. After all, this is another nomination after Nameless. He was once controversial for being accused of being illiterate, and now he can take this opportunity to prove himself. Under the focused gaze of the host, Wang Yibo held the microphone and expressed his feelings. It's an honor. One sentence expressed his feelings. The host was stunned on the spot, and hurriedly took over and urged Wang Yibo to say more. Wang Yibo's subsequent actions put the host in a completely embarrassing situation. I feel extremely honored. Seeing this scene, fans all praised Wang Yibo as a living legend in the entertainment industry. He is like the embodiment of abstract art, and he is laughing whenever he opens his mouth. When Wang Yibo finished this sentence, the host and guests next to him smiled inferiorly to cover up the farce. In such occasions, appropriate humor is fine, but overly abstract practices seem to be disrespectful to the scene. Some netizens in the comment area mention Wang Yibo's illiteracy again. After all, he once said that he would study hard and improve his knowledge level. So it's nonsense again. The early things about Wang Yibo's illiteracy sparked many discussions. In the 2023 Symposium on the Construction of Professional Ethics in Radio and Television, Wang Yibo was invited to participate as a member of the younger generation. Wang Yibo was dressed in casual clothes, which was obviously in sharp contrast to others who were dressed formally. Perhaps in order to increase the attention of the network, when Wang Yibo spoke, there was special personnel to record it and post it on social media for dissemination. In the video, Wang Yibo read the documents in front of him attentively. He promised to strictly follow the industry's ethical standards and emphasized the need to understand the law, know the law, abide by the law, and not violate the bottom line. However, during this speech, there was a subtle moment captured by netizens. Wang Yibo read Hang an industry as Zing when he spoke, and then immediately corrected himself. Although he quickly corrected it, this unconscious reaction revealed his level of knowledge. In addition, during the Chen Quingling period, Wang Yibo was interviewed. In order to better show the role, the host reminded him to write his role name on the small blackboard. When Wang Yibo was about to write, he suddenly stopped. He forgot how to write his surname Lan and wanted to ask the host for help, but the camera was always facing him. Therefore, Wang Yibo could only write the two words Wang Ji, after all, he couldn't remember the two words Lan Zan. In today's information age, except for class, we almost no longer write words by hand. People generally communicate through mobile phones, and AI can help complete various tasks by just talking casually, so it is normal to forget one or two words occasionally. It is estimated that he is the only one who can write his name wrong. Annette has mentioned that he had several autographed photos of Wang Yibo in the process of chasing stars, but the signatures were always inconsistent. At first, it was thought that Wang Yibo conducted in-depth research to distinguish the authenticity, but later it was discovered that it was actually his unfamiliarity with his name, either missing an arm or a leg. During the hot broadcast of The Untamed, in order to promote the TV series, the crew specially invited the staff of entertainment magazines to enhance the appeal of the program through game interaction. At that time, in the U-Draw and I Guess session, Xiaozan tried his best to explain the idiom, 
but Wanyabo could not guess it. This forced Zyoza to mention the idiom related to turtles. After careful consideration, Wanyabo finally said reach out to catch the turtle. If Zyoza had not mentioned it clearly, Wanyabo might have to wait a long time to know the idiom catching a turtle in a jar. Some netizens criticized Wanyabo for his lack of cultural literacy at the time, thinking that with his level, he could actually serve as a host on Mango TV. Is it because of his relationship? Later, when Wang Yibo forwarded a Weibo about Day Day Up, he made a common sense mistake. He actually regarded Hunan as a city and became the recognized son of Mango TV, but he did not understand his situation at all. He worked hard on Hunan TV for so many years in vain. And it's not enough to regard Hunan as a city. Wang Yibo sometimes doesn't even know how to read. This series of actions made fans understand why he was rejected by Mango TV. In a program hosted by Wang Yibo, he mispronounced six consecutive words in public, and even mispronounced the name of his most important sponsor. In the program, the slogan promoted by the sponsor was, Learn English Online, Children Have Excellent Oral English, and Learning is Superb. However, Wang Yibo said that children who learn English online have strong oral skills and good learning effects, which is great. Wang Han's eyebrows slightly raised at the end of Wang Yibo's advertisement, and he realized that this was a broadcast accident. A solution must be found quickly, otherwise it will cause trouble to the station. Afterwards, Wang Yibo was arranged to read, but he actually read it isn't even the word seemed particularly strenuous in his mouth. Wang Yibo's series of remarks made everyone laugh, and everyone used cute to rescue him. Many years later, Wang Yibo's handwritten letter to Wang Han once again aroused heated discussions among netizens. In everyone's in-depth discussion, many language errors were corrected. In this 200-word essay, I found more than 10 inappropriate expressions, including incorrect punctuation, imprecise wording, and incoherent sentences although there are many grammatical errors, it is gratifying that there are no typos this time. After seeing Wang Yibo's many examples of illiterate, CCTV specially made a special topic on this, titled Desperate Illiterate. Wang Yibo, Jin Dong, Zhe Xianlin and Zhao Lusi were mentioned during the period. This article mainly discusses Wang Yibo's lack of understanding of the role when he starred in Nameless, so that he seemed hesitant when the audience asked questions, and even said some classic sentences. I'm not sure how to respond. I don't think this kind of question makes much sense. This state of knowing nothing will naturally be judged by the audience. As an actor, the most important thing is to have a deep understanding of the role you play. When the audience asked about the highlights of the role, Wang Yibo actually said that he didn't know how to answer. When Wang Yibo was asked about his opinion of the role he played, this is almost a must-have answer in the Chinese textbook. However, Wang Yibo said that this kind of question didn't make much sense, and he didn't plan to say anything, because after all, they would not meet. Scared the colleagues next to him, and immediately took remedial measures. At that time, CCTV.com published an article severely criticizing him as a desperate illiterate, and many people speculated that Wang Yibo might face a soft ban. Despite his extremely significant commercial value, many people still have high expectations for Wang Yibo. Especially because of Wang Yibo's rapid rise to fame, the suddenly withdrawn King of the Sky quickly chose to be released during the May Day period and the dance movie Hot starring Wang Bo also met with the audience in the summer of the same year. The short film My Friend co-produced by Wang Yibo and Zhou Sun was also shortlisted for the short film competition unit of the Berlin Film Festival. The box office performance of these larger films in the same period was very outstanding, further proving Wang Yibo's popularity and strength. As word of mouth fermented, China.com recently gave a very high evaluation of Wang Yibo's performance in the film. It is no exaggeration to say that Nameless benefited him a lot and also challenged him. With Wang Yibo's persistence, everyone gradually began to recall his journey to fame and realized that the so-called illiterate was actually excusable. In those days, in order to pursue his dream, Wang Yibo decided to temporarily suspend his studies in the second year of junior high school and went to South Korea to participate in a street dance competition. In order to give him peace of mind, his parents arranged a school for him in South Korea where many stars were trained. Wang Yibo lived up to expectations and stood out in the dance competition. He was eventually discovered by Li Hua and became a trainee. He embarked on his own acting career, which delayed his studies and resulted in his cultural level remaining at the high school level. However, there are significant differences between the Korean education system and our country, 
which makes Wang Yibo unfamiliar with many Chinese characters and idioms, and lacks basic sentence punctuation skills. The doubts of netizens are not just simple ridicule, but the expectation that top idols like Wang Yibo can continue to learn and improve themselves. After all, these idols reflect the entire society and its attention to cultural accomplishment and knowledge level. Once they really become illiterate, then one day, Wang Yibo will be replaced, and the former top traffic will only be reduced to a short-lived existence. The tolerance and understanding of fans are understandable, but everyone should also supervise and motivate their idols. Only through continuous learning and self-improvement can celebrities more effectively assume the mission of shaping social values and cultural influence. Just like our grassroots actor Wang Bei Okiang, in an early interview, he confessed that he had never been to school and couldn't even recognize a few big characters. As long as the content of the interview was a little esoteric, I would be confused. In order to better understand the script, he decided to carry a dictionary with him during the performance so that he could look up the content he didn't understand at any time. Only in this way can he have a deeper understanding of the positioning and connotation of the role, so as to better interpret it. Only those who have both literary and artistic cultivation can be called literary and artistic workers. I also hope that the desperate illiterates in the entertainment industry can study hard and get rid of this title with their own strength after watching Wang Yibo's previous interview. CCTV described him as a desperate illiterate which is totally wrong. Wang Yibo has been nominated for the Golden Rooster Awards for two consecutive years, and his say more on the spot caused laughter he was severely criticized by CCTV. It is shameful that there are many illiterate people in the entertainment industry who have no culture in literacy. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our support channel.